Drunk Pedal Show with Matt and Ira. I'm Matt. This is Ira. We're a little bit ahead of the game, so we just made our new theme song, which you probably just heard. Today, a pairing we call The Philosopher's Patron. The Philosopher's Patron. That was, that, that was like one of our... That was like one of our very first ideas. Uh, so yeah, so it's the Pigtronics Philosopher's Tone, which is an amazing compressor, and I think the first Pigtronics pedal I got. So I'm gonna do the talk down, and Ira's gonna do the noodling. The whittly whittlies. And uh, we'll see how this pedal sounds. Now uh, this is the first of my personal pedals on the show, and uh, there is definitely no box. I have not kept any of the boxes of the vast majority of my pedals. So, tell us about your new guitar. So this is an AS73 Ibanez Artcore in metallic olive. And uh, I was an army guy for a long time, so uh, I it was real close to like a military style green, which, yeah. I, which I dug, and there's a it's kind of a sparkle to it, which I'm not exactly sure will come out. I think you can see the sparkle. The question is whether or not it will be whether partially it's invisible. Be invisible green screen. Yeah. We'll uh, see. Whatever. We'll work around it. You're going to hear it, this, the Ibanez through the Blues, Mr. Blues Jr. the third. Just give you a little bit of playing. Let's get a little bit of basic tone going. So you're on the neck pickup. Are you, are you uh, tone potted? Play a little bit with the tone knob up just for comparison so we have a, a baseline of what the guitar sounds so like. So this is, this is, this is all the way up. some point but let's start like it's very nice sounds good yeah great guitar man yeah all right so do you want to start with the tone down or up uh let's I'll, I'll start it you know what since since most guitar players start with all their shit rolled up all the way mm -hmm. I will start with the with the treble cranked on high and do more of a three thirty five right. thing yeah. than a we'll uh, do straight jazz guitar. Cool. We'll do both. We'll do. Yeah, we'll yeah. come back around. But yeah, let's give this a start. Get back to that. So basically, okay, let me start at noon, except for the grit, and then I'll explain things one by one. So. Wow. Bunch of tone jumping out. Yeah. So okay. So here we're kind of at fifty. So here the deal is. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So sustain is the amount of compression because it's actually designed to work if you crank it it's like a near infinite sustain kind of effect because it just compresses it so hard it'll go until the the signal is completely gone and then so i so sustain is kind of the ratio uh i think because that way you're if you're completely squashing it is when it'll last the longest and then the blend knob um so it, it runs in parallel so you the blend knob actually blends the the clean unprocessed signal with the compressed signal. So if you're in the middle, you're going 50-50, and uh, it gives you a lot of range that I think a lot of compressors don't have that don't let you do that, because you can really get some, keep things sounding transparent while also having the sort of nice compressed squashed sound. Right. And then the treble knob is basically just there so that when you compress a lot, Sometimes you lose some of the treble, some of the attack. That's just to dial some treble back in. So let's start with a basic, a little below noon on ev everything. We'll leave the treble at at uh, at noon because that basically is. Uh, if you if the treble, I believe, is is uh, zero at noon. If you turn it down, it'll cut it a bit. If you turn it up, it'll boost it. But we'll see if I'm right about that. Because um, I don't think I have the manual anymore either. But uh, I have used this pedal a bunch. Oh, so, yeah. and usually it just needs a tiny bit of, and then of course the volume is to boost the gain once you've compressed it to even the level out. So let's start. I'll start low on the sustain and gradually turn it up while you while you vamp. Just hold a hold a chord. So that's with the sustain at max. You really, really hear it stretch it out, and that's not even and that's with it uh, blended with the regular signal. I bet if 
I'll turn the blend up all the way so it's pure compressed signal. Still going. And it'll basically feed back. That was the same. Yeah. So if you want, it, it almost works like a, it's, 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 it's not quite a sustainer because the sustainer usually has a magnetic component that will make the string keep ringing, but it's close. And if you can get to your amp, you can use it for feedback and they can do some cool stuff. That'll make you lazy. That was just like... <laughs> and it's great for leads. What I used to do... When I use this guy on my mini, my super mini pedal board that I bring up to the open mic and stuff, I put this in front of the Pictronics fat drive. Because the fat drive is great, but it doesn't have the kind of gain that gives you a ridiculous amount of sustain with it on its own. But if you put this in front of it, you basically have infinite sustain into the fat drive, which is super smooth and thick sounding. So you just get incredible lead tone and you can just do all kinds of stuff. And it's great if you want to, you know, like just play play left-handed and or do like michelangelo stuff or whatever because you got so much sustaining gain yeah you, it'll it's it's easier which a compressor in general kind of gives you that but this gives you uh which and I, I never do that <laughs> right but <laughs> um but if you were uh if you're playing thunderstruck for example it yeah, might, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so uh now uh so that's sure that's the basic gist of what the knobs do it's not like they do anything crazy just they all kind of work together to give you options to shape uh the tone of the compressor now let's hear a little bit of the grit knob introduced there it is yeah here we go interesting when you uh when you when you mellow it out like uh roll the tone off a little bit mm -hmm. it suddenly does get a little kind of kind of jazzy ish you know? yeah now let's try your uh roll your volume knob off and we'll see how or not uh, your tone, tone knob off. And then we'll see how that interacts with it. Because I, the last one, I boosted the treble a little bit because I could hear how, as you start to really squash it, that's where the treble knob comes in because you basically reintroduce a little bit of it so you don't get too dark and it doesn't get buried in the mix. See, that's also where the blend comes in too because the blend, it leaves more of the high end that would get crushed by the compressor. See that? <laughs> 
<laughs> um, sounds sounds better with the uh, with the tone knob up on the neck pickup. Yeah, because it, it tames the highs a little bit for you, but it doesn't totally like take them out. It kind of keeps them from popping out, you know. Jump out. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've sold so many of these Philosopher Tone pedals because they're one of those, uh, it's, uh, I guess uh, this came out like maybe about close to eight years ago, maybe? Something like that. eight, uh, yeah, maybe it was a while ten ago. years it was ago, a while. but it's like, uh, it's been out for a while and <laughs> uh, I would consider it a classic pedal by this point, maybe not time-wise because you got to go to 20 years for vintage, but... Screw it. I think everybody everybody knows about it, and uh, this is one of those pedals where I sold a lot of these uh, when it came out, and I still sell them now uh, for like two reasons: uh, the the infinite clean sustain, which is just a great no bullshit feature. It's kind of, of a whole. Pedal. It's, it's got little bonuses in it, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and. Um, it sounds really good yeah, with that yeah. single coil into the blues so junior. Good, yeah. All right, let's see. Let's go super squash and jazzy. like a, a whole other dimension to what you possibly can do you know yeah well and again if you don't have it gives you another option for a distortion if you just happen to want an extra one and if you don't like it i think the new philosopher's tone mini doesn't have a grit switch ah. i think it only has four knobs and i think that the other four and they say it's the same thing, but in a smaller package. I think the trick is that the, the grit, the grit is, um, I found the grit initially a little brittle, but if you crank the sustain with it, so like, again, you use it, like I was saying, if it'd be even better, uh, maybe I'll, we'll do a double up episode because we got to do an episode on the, on my fat drive at some point. Yeah. But if you don't have a fat drive, this is pretty decent instead with the Sounds great. It's like yeah. instant professionalism in a box. Should we switch back and then jam a little? Yeah, why not? Um, here she comes. Watch out how she chew you up. Here she comes. She's a Shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's not on. I'm like, yeah. I was like, what do you want the Christmas? And you're like, let's play this song. And I'm like, uh, about the other thing. Hold on, turn it on. I think it's gonna sound really good though. Uh, right right off. Yeah. So when in doubt, this pedal usually sounds great just basically everything at two o'clock. 